and welcome back to my channel. G'day, mate. Ernie is here. Brian is on the pillow there. I did just try and put him down for a sleep, but he's not having any of it now. He's, he's having his hands. none of it. So, I thought we'd do a little McBang today. I don't actually think Brian has been on my channel to do a little catch up <coughs> since we've had Rome. Maybe not. So I thought it would be a good time to answer some questions. She tries to get me to eat more McDonald's and rubbish takeaway. Well, look, we've had a full day of filming today, no, so I no. thought might as well get a little cheeky McDonald's. Although this Coke is tastes like like the, the syrup's day. gone. No, the syrup's gone. So that was unfortunate. But yeah, I thought we'd get a little McDonald's, answer some questions. I did ask you guys on Instagram for some questions. I'm hoping they're not going to all be baby related because <coughs> not everyone wants to know, obviously, all about the baby, even though he is our whole entire world. So anyway, yeah, my first time appearing for a, a chatty for a while. Erin's got some questions from her Insta. Yeah. We've got some food. Hopefully. Chicken sandwich. I find some that aren't all baby related. So guys, before we get into the rest of the video, I wanted to show you guys some things I picked up from Timu. If you haven't shot from Timu before, honestly, it's amazing. They do every single thing on that website you could possibly imagine. Homeware, kitchenware, baby stuff, clothing, literally everything you could possibly think of is on the website. Bedding. I've honestly got so much and I've actually got a variety of everything to be honest. I do have a discount code. I'll leave it on the screen here and I'll also leave the link down below in the description so you can head straight to the website and shop. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys everything I picked up. I've been so excited to show you guys. I've actually left it all in the bags. I've been desperate to open it but I wanted to show you everything first before I used it all. So okay, first thing I picked up was a nappy caddy. I wanted one for the top floor because basically we are a three-story house and like whenever Rome's up there like we don't have the stuff we need so I ordered a nappy caddy this one is such a nice material um, and then it comes with the little attachments that go in the middle just to separate the sections so there we go it looks like that in the middle so yeah I can't wait to take that upstairs and fill it up for the top floor I actually got this really nice soft blanket which I have actually already put on my bed it is the softest material ever it is so nice such good quality I obviously had to pick it up in grey as well I'm either going to use this this one for the sofa downstairs or the top floor bed honestly if you guys could feel this it is the softest material ever and it's huge so yeah i can't wait to put this on the bed upstairs it's gonna look so nice up there okay i had to get some slippers because whenever i look on there they have so many slipper options and i love these ones and um, they're the cream ones with the yellow smiley face they honestly they have so many different colors on their website but yeah i absolutely love these so i'm gonna put these on now i actually picked up some bits for rome and also my niece indiana indy is going on holiday so i picked her up this swimsuit oh my goodness how cute is this it's got a zip at the back um and it's got little floral and ruffle sides how nice is that she's gonna look so cute in that on holiday so i bought that for her i also bought her this blue one and it has pink flowers on it white flowers on it. it also has like little strawberries on it and it's got the little ruffle at the back oh my goodness i'm obsessed with this and again it's got the zip at the front i also picked her up a couple of tracksuits because they're so easy for her to just throw on and um, so i picked up this little cream one it's just like cream and then it's got like little squares on it which i just thought was really cute and it comes with the matching jumper and as you can see it's got little ruffles on the sleeve which i absolutely love also i grabbed her this one it's just a cream one again it's just got like little pink bunnies on it these also have pockets as well which are so cool and then also has the little matching sweatshirt so again love that and the last one i got for indy was this pink tracksuit it's got little white drawstrings the little cuff joggers and then it has the matching sweatshirt which just says on it mama's girl she's gonna love this i know nancy's gonna love this um so yeah i can't wait to see her in these and then for rome we're actually going on holiday in july so i picked up oh my god these are the cutest things ever i picked up this vest in six to nine months it's just brown with little sunshines on it and then it comes with the matching shorts he's gonna look so cute in this i'm not even joking i also got this really super cute blue one and um, which will actually fit him now this is in naught to three well he'll he's nearly in naught to three just a little long sleeve ribbed blue one and then it comes with the matching joggers these might be a little bit big for him but he'll grow into these pretty soon mix up these little dummy clips i just got a little blue one you can clip it onto them and then have the dummy on the other end of it just so they don't lose it this is a bit of an odd one but i really am into elderflower and lemonade at the minute with ice um and i really just wanted a circular ice cube tray um so i got one here just fill it up with water put it together and then you have perfectly 
circle ice cubes so yeah that was a little one i picked up another thing for the baby's room this actually goes on the end or the side of the cot or your changing unit and you can just pop like little bits in it and um, this will be perfect when he moves into his big room but yeah just pop like little teddies or little books in it anything like that okay this is a super random one but we don't actually have one of these in our house and it's a knife sharpener our knives always go really blunt so i thought it'd be really handy to have yeah i picked one of these up pretty boring but i needed it okay i really needed one of these this goes in the shower it comes with the fixings in the bag um and it goes in the shower and you can put like all your products and stuff on it i wanted one of these because our other ones are getting really super old and rusty and we'll go with our gray bathroom really nicely okay this is the best invention ever it is a travel changing mat but you open it up so this is the changing mat like this but inside you can put like nappies wipes um creams spare clothes anything like that so you can literally just take this all out in one so if you just pop into a friend's house or your family's perfect you can change them on here and then you've got all your bits in there as well and i just thought how handy would that be like i can literally i can even just like chuck it in our changing bag anything like that also might be really good for like traveling like flying anything like that so really happy i picked that up yeah that is everything i have got to show you guys don't forget you guys can shop from timu i will leave the link down below in the description and the discount code on screen so you can shop all of your things at a discounted price make sure you head over to their website and let me know what you guys get first question is that's the longest tip i've ever seen from <laughs> just saying what name was Rome going to be named or has, ah. it, or has it always been Rome? See, I'm only going to tell you this because Erin said that she's never going to use this name, which mm. I'm sad about. Why well, don't make me feel bad? I'm not sad, but I really love the name and all my family were in on the name. He was called this for a while, to be fair. We were set on it. But this was from really early on and I think everyone, everyone we told everyone about it, everyone knew it and I just, I just went off of it and it just didn't, I knew it just wasn't going to suit him, I just didn't like it. But then, it was such a nice name. And it was Rome versus... Parker. So he was... I love the name Parker. And I love the name Parker. Why don't we have another boy who could have had Parker? But I love it for a girl. Yeah, you could have Parker as well, to be fair, for a girl. Mm. I love the name Parker. Let me know what you think. To be fair, Erin did love it. We all loved mm. it. I don't hate the name. I think she just went off of it. I because... just did. I think everyone knew it. Everyone was talking about it. And we sat on it quite early and then Erin got bored of it. Yeah. And then I did not And I even remember at first, I was like, nah, we can't call him Brum. He doesn't look like a Parker. But now he's here, like, <laughs> he is just little Roro. But everyone wanted to know what his almost name was, Parker. Parker Bennett Stewart. And to be fair, it does sound nice with your last name. Mm. But it's such a long last name. It needs yeah, to be a short true. name. Brum. But there you go. It is no longer a secret. <laughs> I literally, I never wanted to say it in any videos in case we... Still, no, no. When is Rome's first holiday? <clears throat> oh, Rome's first holiday. We are taking Rome away in May. We are. We are. And we are actually going, I said his first holiday would be here. Mm. We are going to... Dubai. Dubai, our favourite place in the world. Mm -hmm. We're actually going with my mum and stepdad. I had really bad anxiety about taking Rome away. I still do. And I wanted my mum to be there for the first time. That's not just why we're going away with them. <laughs> no. But, but like, first holiday, you wanted, like, I wanted someone and... else there. It's been brutal. Mm. Like, especially like going through the airport and all of that. I feel like it's just... And also it would be just helpful to have an extra pair of hands. We're going to Dubai. We're not staying in Atlantis where we normally stay. Brandon will probably vlog it or... We'll do something. We'll probably do... Whether it's me or you. A little video, yeah. But yeah, that's his first little holiday. How has your relationship changed since having a baby? I'd say quite a lot. Obviously in what way, but I think... It puts a massive strain on your relationship. Not always. Yeah, only temporary. But... That's because you're sleep deprived. And I think we're through the toughest bit. Oh, oh. oh my god, People yeah. Gonna... I love this stage that he's in. People are going to say, like, oh, you wait till they turn two and they're up and down and you got you can't take your eyes off them. Which I get, but I saw it on Molly May's story and she said the same. Like, oh, I always have people like, um, you know, wait till they're two. And then her story was like, I feel like this is the best age. Like, I knew I'd love this age and I do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'd be the same because I can be more hands on, do more things. And just, I don't know. Be more useful. I feel like I'd be more useful. Mm. But this age right now as well is amazing. You just <laughs> put ketchup on. Sorry, I love this age. The first bit, obviously, I love, but very hard. But now he's, I don't know. He's just growing into a little character. He just pulled his sensory down. Chatting. He's just so funny. Yeah, I love him at this age. But <clears throat> yeah, the newborn's age is so hard, and I think you take it out on each other. You're sleep deprived. Like my emotions and hormones are. Mm. all over the place yeah it's sort of so you take it out on each other all up in the air mm. other than that our relationship is pretty much the same yeah but if we want to go anywhere take them with us 
Yeah, he comes with us everywhere. We do everything with him. Can't wait till he's old enough and he can come to West Ham with me. Rome's gonna play for West Ham one day. Trust. Do you want to move in the near future or are you going to stay in your house you're in now? Uh, yeah, like we will move at some point. This is an our forever home. Oh, hi. He always ends up joining us somehow, don't you? <laughs> I don't think this will be our forever home because we are slowly growing out of it. Obviously, as I think Rome gets older, I think he's going to need a playroom and a place for all of his toys. And obviously, if we have future children, then I think we will start to grow out of this house. And then so we'll I have think a bedroom. And if we are lucky enough to have more children, yeah, I think we'll probably move. But yeah, we've been here three years. I love the area we live in. I love the people here. And we're close to everything. We're close to family. Oh yeah, we're in a wicked location. I just love it here. And we've been here nearly three years now. Three years this summer. We've moved out nearly five years. And the no, housing market years ago. It's always changing. Yeah, I personally think we'll move in the next two years. I reckon. It two, depends three on years. the housing market though. And also, I would also I wouldn't shut myself off from. Go into like a no, no, not no. a really old house. Erin hates the idea of renovating, not like a renovation. Only because I've seen the stress that my sister's been through. An older house that could have been renovated, that's already been renovated. I just, I'm not. No, but I hate the fact. I like when you buy a house, it's a lot of money, right? But you do it all at the start, and it's done. You don't have to think about it. My sister's spending so much money all the time trying to do up the house. Yeah, but house. she probably paid less for the house to do, to do it up. That's what people do. I don't know. Well, like, literally, like, I would just want to pay it and be <laughs> done out the way. It's all done. You can yeah, move what I'm saying to you is, you don't have to buy a new build. You can buy an older house that's already been renovated, so you move into it done. Because you get more for your money in terms of size, driveway, garage. Oh, yeah, it doesn't necessarily so, have to be a new build. I want a bigger garden. Like, I'd love, this would be my dream, I'd love a studio in the garden, literally a man cave in the garden. So that basically erases oh, one baby. bedroom in the house that's not needed for me as like my office. I'd love a driveway with a garage built to the house. But yeah, I think we but. definitely mo will move at some point, but just not yet. Well, I've actually eaten all my food already, whereas Erin hasn't. Do you want me to take here while you eat? Hey, I've been doing lots of filming today. Been at work. I've been in the car and drinking lots of milkies and lots of napping. Let's peel the sticker, Ryan. Nothing. Okay, this is a good question. I think it's good to hear from Brian's perspective as well. Alright. Did having your birth put you off having more in the future? No. Uh, but may maybe because maybe do people get scarred from natural birth? I don't know. I do they find that quite. I mean, there, our scenario I was the thing dramatic is, though, as you can get. Yeah, but there's but like, two situations to our story. You had the emergency part of it, and then mm -hmm. you had the fact that he was too small and wasn't ready to come home. They're two separate things. Yeah, and we had them like, both. Like, if he was the right size, because I was 34 weeks, I wasn't, like, I was. he was premature, but he wasn't, like... 27, 28. Yeah, maybe. like, he wasn't, like, he should have been bigger, so... Something I think, went wrong a couple of weeks before. Yeah, that. but, like... If he was the right size, we could have come home like a couple of days after. Mm. But I, I don't like. I would go through that all again just to have him. Yeah. But I had so the big. thought of having another baby being, in, hosp being in hospital. I just don't. And knowing that we'll have him on the next one. Yeah, like, like I just to care for a while. That, that we go and through. that's what scares me is like if anything went wrong again or like if another baby had to be in hospital that's what scares me because i feel like i don't know like i'd be monitored so carefully next time that the chance of something happening would be you'd like well like they've said you're like quite likely to have some, similar things but yeah they'd be but I'd be, and i'd be monitored and i'd have lots of scans, have stuff. scans so every like, week. i don't think i would feel as anxious as that but i would just be worried that my body <clears> obviously wasn't doing enough for him to grow the way he should yeah but also it was like we, we obviously know, but like you forget how, like he is actually really lucky to be here. Like he genuinely like there wasn't much time. It's weird like talking about it because I feel like we've not spoke about it in so long. But sometimes I sit there and think, and I'm like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, don't make me cry. No, because like, I just can't believe that we. I don't even know I'm crying. I can't believe that we went through that, and like that I think is, I've yeah. forgotten about it for so long. I've not spoke about it for so long. Hey. And I think maybe Look at I, the end product. I've never, hey. I don't think I've ever like fully spoken to someone. Well, it just doesn't sink in. Like, yeah. And I think like the way he is now, I'm like, oh my God, like. Well, sometimes if you're ever feeling like times are tough, you just have to look at him and he just reminds you like why it, it's all worth it. But that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Look at I me. Would, I would love to have more children, but mm. I think uh, my anxiety for my pregnancy would be so 
high but i know that i'd be i'd be really looked after and i don't want it to put me off having other children but yeah i don't know why i was getting upset then i had a bit of a moment there but <laughs> it's just it's so it's just such a big mm. thing like it's yeah anyway it's just traumatizing yeah don't worry about me <laughs> what is the one thing that shocked you both being parents also sleep. there's not a single question on here that isn't about baby i'm not even joking <clears throat> the sleep what that shocked you the hardest thing i've not the hardest thing I've ever had to go through, but like it is mentally challenging. Like it sounds so ridiculous and from physically. people that aren't parents, yeah, and physically. But the lack of sleep is you I... cannot prepare for it. Like even when he was he was born and he was in hospital for like the three weeks, and obviously we were coming home at night, but we were going up to see him in the morning, then going home, then going out to see him at night for bed and stuff like that, and then we'd go home again. But like when we go to bed. We'd lay in till like midday because we just wanted the day to be over. Like we wanted to go and see him, come home, go and see him, come home, get it done. And like, not in that way, as in like we wanted the day so we wanted him to come home. <clears throat> yeah, we wanted him to come home. Like, we wanted him to progress, and like, it was so challenging. Like, yeah, but that's not answering the question. What no, shocked, but what I was going to what, what I was going to say is we prepared then when, when we were at home, we were like laying in, mm. and you still, when the baby, when you get home, it's like, oh, yeah, the it's so hard. hard. But, I think to be honest, I wasn't shocked about the sleep because I knew it was hard, but I was shocked how much it would affect me. Like I didn't think oh, I would struggle that much through the night. Like it, it got to the point where you were literally like this. Oh, it's bad. And you you can't explain that feeling. It's like. And you can't fall asleep with a baby in your arms. There was times where like me or you we would be up for an hour. Out. No. No, like I'm talking like he'd wake up and we'd the be up for an hour. The first few weeks he came home, obviously they figure out day and night, he was <laughs> awake from <laughs> midnight till 7am. <laughs> Seven hours he was awake in the night. So what we was doing was <laughs> Six hours Brandon each. would go to bed at 9 or 10 and I'd wake, wake, up him up three. At, wake him up at 3 and then we'd switch. So we were doing like 6 hours. We were doing like each. 10 to 10. And splitting it up in the middle. Yeah. It's like straight sleep. But you so, work your own routines yeah. out. Yeah. And I think as well, like... Whoop, whoop. Not the lack of freedom, because we literally do everything. But, like, things like... Oh, it does restrict Like, oh, actually. I want to go and have a bath. I'm like, right, okay, I've got to make sure that, like, either Rome's in bed or... Oh, I around to watch yeah. him. I can't just, like, go and have a bath. You know what I mean? As but it's like, wants. the freedom's just literally going to do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's okay. Come on, baby. He's tired. Yeah, and obviously, like I would, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like I would have him over a bath any day. Yeah, that's not the point. But yeah, I think that's probably what shocks me the most. When will you start weaning Rome? That's quite a good question because I wouldn't have a blooming clue. Yeah, so I think it's sort of recommended from six months. Six months, but obviously he's behind. So I think I'm going to do it from his corrected age, unless he seems ready. Like if yeah. he's fully sitting up properly. If he's almost his caught head, up. Um, he's like looking for food, like he's wanting food. Um, then yeah, then I will start him. But the thing is, he's what four and a half months at the minute. Yeah. But his, if you did, if you deducted six weeks, that's his corrected date, which they say to use as milestone. So technically three months. So another three months till we win, yeah. rough, roughly give or take. Do you both have good support systems? So that's quite a good question, actually. Yes. We have amazing support system we almost have too We're much doing family i think four out of the seven days a week <laughs> seeing family um, and it's a good thing like we're very grateful but sometimes we're like can you just shut ah, the door and go away <laughs> what, what a nice free day we've got yeah like no it's a good thing like we're so grateful for both uh, we both have massive families but obviously like both our parents are separated so seeing Four separate groups of families, if that oh, makes sense. Christmas is hard. Yeah, plus but obviously like family, friends and stuff. And it's so <clears> nice that everyone wants to see him. As soon as we were in the room on the morning he was born, well technically the night before, as soon as they were like, you're rushing to theatre now to have this baby. Nancy, Julie. And they both were up in the hospital at two in the morning in the click of a finger. But yeah, honestly, everyone has been... Here it is. Like, even when we was first in hospital, like, Holly and Jess, like, came and cleaned our house for us. Yeah, like, like before we Hayley got home. Hayley was making us dinners. Like, Laura was coming to visit us. Like, everyone was just, like... Even in the hospital, bringing us food up in the hospital. Dinners. Yeah. Everyone like, was just amazing. Like, going out and finding premature clothes for us. Nappies. <laughs> so, there was so much for us to get. So, yeah. Honestly, <coughs> we couldn't ask for more family. Uh, this, we can't ask for better family. This is a good door. question. 
I have a six week old baby and she doesn't sleep through the night any tips. My biggest tip, <laughs> I'm not an I expert. Know you say. Well, no, I was going to say, routine is a good one, obviously. Like, we'll get into that in a sec, but <clears throat> I still think six weeks is quite early to be sleeping through the night. Like, don't put pressure on yourself, basically. Every, every baby is different, like, so different. <clears throat> and I think. Rome is a really good sleeper because one, he was super independent. He was in hospital for three weeks. So mm. he was on an incubator on his own. Like he wasn't always being held and cuddled. So I think that does, does help. But also, we was really strict with his routine. So like he goes to bed at a certain time every night. And we'll make sure he, he has, does the same thing. He has things. bath bed. He puts his pajamas on at night. Well, he has a white noise machine. He has a well, red light on. He won't always have a bath, but like that's like a bonus. But like his routine every night will be the same. Like he cries for bed. Like he's like, I want to I think to bed. having a routine and sticking to a routine is a massive, massive help. And also them being able to settle on their own, mm. putting them down in their bed when they are sleep when they're when they're sleepy but awake so they're not waking up and startling and you're not there they know you're not there mm. but they're sleepy enough to go to sleep i think that's the best thing like he self settles if he needs to what else could be good like keeping them making sure they feel quite enclosed like we like to have a quilt when we go to sleep right sleep sacks, sleep sacks if if the baby's big or enough swaddles. stuff like that can help Sleep sacks White and noise. Swaddles, he sleeps he slept so much better as soon as we put him in a sleep sack. Um, and he, believe it or not, his next to me was too big because obviously he was prem. So if you've got a tiny baby and they're not sleeping in their put them in a Moses. A hundred percent. If you put them in the Moses basket, it will be a game changer. They feel a bit more clearly yeah. secure. He hates that helps. next to me. Right, we're going to do one more question. Sorry, guys. Every single question is Literally, about baby. I'm parenthood. looking through the the story. But I guess that's our life now. Yeah. Recently gave birth 13 weeks early and struggling with the NICU life. Any tips? I think the best thing we did was every single day we went into the hospital and we asked them how they've got on and we wrote every single thing down so you could look day back by day what it was and what you could improved. go home that evening and you can look and go look. This is what's happened today. Like what an improvement. Or, you know, this is what we... Even for your mental state to look yeah. and go, okay, like when he was first on the oxygen help, it was like, okay, this number this day, and then the next day he was down to this number, and it was like, okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And also That's asking them each day for a target, like, okay, like, what are we going to try and achieve today? Like, well, not necessarily today, like, every baby's different, but like, for us, yeah. it was like trying to get him up to a certain level of milk. Um, like, Tolerating asking them it. for a target, they're not going to tell you when you're coming home. They don't do that. And no. we learnt that the whole, every day we was like, look, like, what, when are we coming home? And they can't tell you. They can't give you that answer. Or well, sometimes and we I, ask them subtly. I found that really, get, really hard. Yeah. Every night I would come out crying and be like, they're not telling us. Like, I don't know Like, if I'm talking about next month or if I'm talking about next week. Mm. Like, And I think that's what I struggled with and the most. Also, we got told, like, you got to remember, like, I can't remember what the shifts were. Let's say it was 8 till 8, I think it was. So 8 in the morning, someone new would come in and take over on Rome until 8 in the evening and then obviously someone else would come in and take over Rome and obviously they pass the information like on handover or changeover whatever they call it but it's still someone new they probably word things differently so like we'd, we'd get told something let's say when we went in the morning and then we'd go back in the evening past 8 o'clock and then it'd be a new different. person and they might say something different and like almost feel like we'd gone back I a think, step yeah. and it was very we were like up in the air all where, the time. You know, where are we going? And you have to just be firm with it and, and in I a nice also, way. And I think also not to fixate on a date you're coming home. you just got to oh, focus you'll get on each day you're if it's in not there. the day. Don't. Like, don't set yourself... Like, because we did that so many times. Brandon used to say, like, oh, yeah, I think it'll be next Tuesday. And it comes Tuesday and I'd be like, see, like, mm. we're nowhere near coming home. I Quite think I the worst that. thing you've got to do, the worst thing to do is fixate on a date or a, it was like a time. It was a week, wasn't it, when I said that? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, 100%. Don't fixate on a date. Just focus on every single day. And just know that they're in the best care and they're, doing, they're doing everything they can to get them home yeah. safe and healthy there we go Rome's that is a video done finally asleep good timing Robo's yeah. asleep and he's checking him out you love your brother don't you you love him that is only so good with him yeah it sort of ended up in a baby parenthood Rome Q&A but that's what you guys have asked that's our life now you guys have asked those questions yeah I really hope you guys did enjoy this video <laughs> it is actually my birthday next week so you guys will mm. have some birthday content coming up what i got for my birthday i'll probably vlog my birthday and i might even do a little outfit challenge with holly and brandon if i can get some oh if i can get it done in time dread but, them because i always lose <laughs> but it's tradition every year 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys with a brand new video on Saturday at 7pm. Bye! Peace. Where are you? Where are you?